Good morning, raccoons. You're invited to join me in the pledge. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I, I feel like all of a sudden we're close to summer. So it's exciting. It's a busy week. Certainly, um, we have the prom court videos today, so we're in our community meetings. And then tomorrow, we got our last Career College Life Readiness Day of the Year. So our freshmen and sophomores are here. Juniors, you got a little bit of a break. And seniors, you get your reality check experience, which is a lot of fun. So come in with an open mind. A lot of work's been going on. Community partners behind the scenes to make this day special for you. And you don't have to be at school for like a couple hours. So you'll figure it out, right? We'll be just fine. And then we are working towards prom. So prom, yes, yes, prom is uh, Saturday night. We'll talk more about that prom assembly on Friday. So we have a special schedule. So remember, if you're off site, you go to WCTC or you have a career internship or you have release time, we do have a different schedule on Friday that's posted around. We'll make sure we email it out to you as well. Oh my gosh, okay, we got a lot to get through. I'll pass it on. Happy Tuesday. And Morgan's back. Woo! Yeah. Hope everyone had a great four day weekend. It was amazing. And this weekend is also a pretty special one. This Saturday is prom. Buses and table placements are posted outside the rec and also in the Fieldhouse Lobby and at East Campus. Stay tuned later to hear from this year's prom court and get ready for a night under the spotlight. Don't forget, tomorrow is a very special day. Here's Mrs. Anders to talk about it. Ooh, thanks, you guys. All right, so freshmen and sophomores, you have a big day tomorrow. Remember, freshmen and sophomores, you're taking the pre-ACT Secure. That is an online assessment, so please be proactive. I need you guys to fully charge those Chromebooks at night and bring them to school tomorrow. You can bring your charging cord. That would be a good idea, just in case for some reason you run out of battery. Um, if, any, if you need a Chromebook, you should plan on being here as early as it can tomorrow. Um, 7 a.m., the rec will be open to check out Chromebooks if you um, do not have a school issued Chromebook okay so um, today if you can open up your email right now so go ahead open up those emails you should have an email from me early this morning giving you directions that I'm going to go through right now um, to make sure that you are all set for your pre ACT secure tomorrow okay so we're gonna do something called an app check so what I need you to do is make sure that after you access that email what you gotta do is log out of your Chromebook Okay, so log out of your Chromebook. We're gonna select the, um, the apps button on the lower left corner of your computer. And we're gonna select the test nav icon in order to get started. So when you select that test nav icon, you should be able to start your app check. Okay, so once you click that test nav icon, you're going to choose the pre-ACT secure icon from the left-hand panel of test options. It's going to be like a picture that has the pre-ACT secure on it. Um, and then if your Chromebook accidentally says Aspire, that is no longer a test that we take. So in the upper right-hand corner of your computer, you're going to select a little people button. There's a drop-down menu, and you can say choose a different customer. Select test nav. All right, um, the next thing is you're going to do your app check. So again, under that little people icon, you can say app check. And there is a code that you are going to be entering during that time. So um, please check your email. There will be a code that you do have to enter. Your teachers will have the same exact directions. So if you're not sure what to do or what the code is, um, have your teacher write that code on the board because everybody in freshman and sophomore will need to be entering that code when you do your app check. So once you enter that code, you should just see a whole bunch of green check boxes. Um, if you do, that's great, you're done. Um, and then you can, if you're a sophomore, go on and do your forward app check as well. Um, so you get in the same way, only you select the Insight app. Um, and then there's a different code, also in your email. Teachers also have that. They can write it on the board for sophomores. But um, again, freshmen, you should do your pre-ACT secure app check, which is the test nav app. 
Freshmen and sophomores need to do two app checks. So you're going to do the app check for test nav plus for insight. Okay, so again, sophomores, two app checks. We just want to make sure your, your testing apps are all ready to go. Um, if you get any weird error messages, if for some reason you get like red check marks and not green check marks, please go to the rack. Um, there are staff on standby to help you. Okay, so first ask your teacher. They're not sure. Go to the rack. The rack is here to help you. So great luck on your test tomorrow, um, freshmen and sophomores. Um, remember, you have pre-ACT secure. Um, sophomores only, you're going to stay a little later tomorrow until 1230, it, um, unless you have accommodations, then you'll stay later. Um, but otherwise, you'll be uh, sophomores will be released at 1230 tomorrow. You'll take your pre-ACT secure plus your forward. So you guys are going to do awesome. We believe in you. Thank you, Mrs. Anders. Thank you. Seniors, you will be participating in the reality check tomorrow. Yeah. Woo! Seniors, report to the field house at your assigned time. And here's a list of when you should show up. Don't forget to dress business casual. Also, this Thursday, yearbook is having a club photo day. Yeah. All, all club members should report to the OAC during their assigned time slot with their school ID. Take a picture of the schedule now or check the flyers put all up around the school. Don't be late. And yearbook is also in need of your photos. They're looking for candidates, senior throwbacks, student section, be reels, club activities, proposals, siblings, and pets. Send them in to Mrs. Lapnow to be in the year this year's yearbook and OHS history forever. In club news, do not forget to get your applications in. All se all sophomores, juniors, and Juniors interested in Link Crew should submit their applications by April 18th. And juniors interested in the National Honor Society should submit their application by tomorrow, April 12th. Also, all seniors interested in being this year's commencement speaker at graduation should turn in their final script by this Friday. Don't forget, you will need to present to the panel during lunch on April 21st as well. Good luck. Now we have another sports update with Jack. All right, we got another big update today. Tomorrow is the big Powder Puff game. Juniors for seniors at 7 p.m. at Rux. Be there. I will. Uh, let's go seniors. Uh, we've got a long list of games today. First up is girls soccer. The game is at Janesville High, High School at 7 p.m. Boys baseball keeps it going with the game tonight against Sun Prairie East at Roosevelt at 4.30. Girls varsity softball also tonight versus Waukesha North at 4.30. Too many games to choose from. And last but not least is boys lacrosse. Varsity has a game versus Elkhorn at 7.30. And JV has their game at 5.30. Good luck to all the teams. Also, track in had indoor state recap this weekend. They finished strong with the boys track finishing fourth. Huge shout out to Jaden, Zach, Hayden, Roe, Jackson, Al, Harry, Caden, and Cole, who all did phenomenal this weekend. Congratulations to all athletes, and good luck during the outdoor season. Speaking of track, they will be having a fundraiser next week, Monday, at Qdoba from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Don't eat at home on Monday. Go to Qdoba. Take a picture of this QR code to be able to scan it. 25% of all sales will go towards your track team. Thank you, Jack. And now it is time for your weekly forecast presented by the man, the myth, the legend, Charlie Doe. Well, it's certainly starting to feel like summer out there. You can see we have nice warm temperatures throughout the whole week. Maybe the chance of scattered showers on Friday, but we'll get to that in just a second. We're going to focus on today right now. High temperature of 76. Part of the cloudy skies throughout the whole day. It's going to be super nice out. And it's going to be even nicer tomorrow. High temperature of 79. We might even break 80 degrees tomorrow. So it's going to be pretty warm. After the reality store and you're done with all your school stuff, tomorrow's going to be a great day to go out there, enjoy the outside. Still warm on Thursday. High temperature of 78. We are watching for the chance of a few scattered showers on Friday, but nothing that's going to wash anything out. High temperature of 75. Awesome. Thank you, Charlie. Looking like a rain day. <laughs> That's all the news we have for today, but stay tuned to hear from this year's prom court. As always, follow us on Instagram at OHS underscore RCC and share your news with our team at RCC at OASD.org. And here's Mr. Curtis with the joke of the day. All right. For the joke of the day, remember during court videos, check them out, watch them. So proud of everybody there. You worked hard on them. 
It's an awesome way to showcase our values of being grounded, committed, and accountable, and a fun way to just talk about why these people are on prom court and deserve that recognition. So, so proud of them. Remember, you're doing your app check, freshmen, sophomores, get that done. Um, and then also, um, seniors, um, remember, you're filling out your scholarship notification survey. And you're also completing that reflection survey where you share some of your favorite memories, give your nomination for faculty speaker, and all the information we need for the end of the year celebrations. Tomorrow, seniors, I think tomorrow, we'll see how the day's going, you should be getting all your stuff and information about the senior celebrations and graduation. Okay, just the first initial stuff, so you'll be good. All right, this joke, I don't get it. Why can't police catch the wool? The wool. Why can't the police catch it? No, no. Have the best day of your life, raccoons. Now, here's this year's prom court. Hi, we're Maddie and Jack. Let's get these raccoons ready for the day. Um, how is the Louisiana Purchase affecting your day-to-day -day life? Beep! The, the Louisiana Purchase, um, how is it like affecting how you live your life? Personally, it's making me very upset that they would choose such things. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, and who are you voting for prom king? Jack Simons. And, and the prom queen? Um, of course. Maddie Bochke. Okay, here you go. Do you like mandarin oranges or cuties? Do you peel your oranges before you eat them? Yes. Are you who are you voting for prom queen? Uh, Jack Simons. <laughs> and I didn't know who the chicks were. And who are you voting for prom king? Maddie Butchke. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Pops. Oh. Hi, Haley. Um, in your opinion, how many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? <laughs> oh my god. Um What? Chickens? chickens? Yes. How many chickens? Fourteen. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Thank you. And um who are you thinking for voting for prom king? For Brown King? Jack Simons. And for Brown Queen? I don't know. Probably Maddie Butchke. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the potato famine? Like, as an outsider. What? Your thoughts on the potato famine? What's the potato famine? <laughs> and who are you voting for Brown Queen? <laughs> Maddie Butchke. And for Brown King? Jack Simons. Thank you. Where is it? What? Where is it? Um. Uh. Where'd you put it? Uh, in my ass. <laughs> okay, thank you. And who are you voting for Brown King? Jack Simons. And for Brown Queen? Uh. Maddie Butchke. Okay, thank you, Luke. Welcome. Have a good day, school. Yeah, you're welcome. Now, go ride for our sponsor. Vote Maddie and Jack because they are grounded, committed, and accountable. Listen to these sophisticated people on why I should be prom queen. Why should you vote Allie for prom queen? Because she was um, nice and kind and so sweet, and she helps me a lot, and then she just goes um, play people without recess from kindergarten. And that's why she just always be nice to us outside. Prom queen. Because she's really helpful and kind to people. Because she plays with people at recess. Because she's really pretty and she's kind and helpful. Because she's kind for Because she's grounded, committed, and accountable. accountable. dream came true as she traveled from the faraway land to come to the United States. But wait, this is not your typical princess story. For as long as I can remember, I've always dreamed of finding myself in some unexpected place. That's how I ended up in this mess, if that's what you're wondering. There's no denying on our special promise. 
you get to dance the night away with your classmates as you get one step closer to graduation and leaving high school behind forever. Cinderella never asked for a prince. She only asked for a drink and a dress. I don't ask for much either. I just want to be called a queen. I can't wait to call Aurora Her Royal Highness. I can't wait either, Mr. Japanin. Help give me the happy ending every princess deserves in fairy tales. Aurora is the fairest of them all, so she should be queen of the ball. What do you think of Haley Muscalic for prom queen? No. Mask. Muscalic. Who? Muscalic. Haley, like theater kid Haley? Mo. Seven O. I guess if there's no one else. M mask. Mask. She talks too much. Mollusk. No. It's not it. He should be prom queen. She's so cool. Um. Who are you voting for? Lily Wagner. Why? Uh, she's really good at volleyball. <laughs> Because you're good at volleyball. She's the best athlete I know. Welcome to the best volleyball player ever. She's very good at volleyball. She's going D1 for volleyball, of course. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like for prom queen! I think you should vote Megan Stukey for prom queen, but let's see what Colorado thinks. For Stooks, go Oak God! Vote for Stooky! Hello from Vale! And vote for Stooks for prom queen! Vote for Stooks! Vote for Stooks! Vote for Stooks! Vote for Stooks! Are you voting Team Ginger? Yes, of course. Why are you voting Jordan Haney, prom queen? I mean, my sister's also Ginger, so gotta rep the community. Who am I here with? Aiden Ratzabong. Why are you or why are you not voting for me for prom king? See, you know, the Gingers, they represent, but like, you don't wear enough green. I'm not gonna lie. Be a Ginger? He's short though, he's got that four foot two, you know, he's got that nice energy, but you did wake me up for my nap. <gasps> do I spot a, do I spot a Team Ginger? A Team Ginger? Why are you voting Jordan Haney prom queen? Because she is a real life leprechaun. Vote Team Ginger because Ginger wants you to. Welcome to a day in my life as Mr. Accountable. I start off my day by taking my private plane to OHS and then making sure everyone gets into school safely. Then interview. Who are we here with? Henry Hollihan. What's your favorite thing about OHS? Uh, me. Oh, and then what are some activities you are involved in at OHS? I play at tennis. So how do you keep students accountable at OHS? You. What are you doing get back to class? That should say enough. Are you voting Henry Hollihan for prom king? Of course, he keeps me accountable. Oh, just my raccoon journey. Come on. today. Carnegie Mellon University. UNC Asheville in Asheville, North Carolina. The lovely Duke University in Durham, North Carolina. Very lovely. And who are you going to be voting for for prom king? Easy question. Definitely Brett, Brett Mitchell. Mitchell. Best candidate out there. You're wrong if you don't vote for him. He has my vote. Wow. Hi. 
I'm here to tell you why you should vote for me for your future prom king. Fun. I got decent always trust in a really positive way, not only at school, but at cheer and at work. Who are you voting for for prom? Not Mateo! I woke up in a new Bugatti. Oh, for me. This is how we get you prom king. This will never work. No one even knows who I am. Then call me a light bulb, because I have an idea. I love you, Tyler Wood. Vote Tyler Wood for prom king Okonomovic High School. Wow. Um, this is a tough one. All juniors, check your email right now. Vote. Good luck, court. Yeah. Woo!